Kings have been dominant on the road this season. If you want to win a championship, you got to be able to win on the road, and those games are really important. The team's winning record away from Staples Center is a testament to the focus and leadership of this team. If you go into an arena like Chicago, you know it's going to be loud from the get-go, even if they're not playing very well. And then some buildings you go into, the, you know, the fans aren't really as loud, and you got to bring the emotion within the group. And I think so far this season, we've been doing a really good job doing that. For the equipment staff, every road trip starts early as the team plane needs to be loaded with all the gear by the time the players arrive for the flight. First order of business once on board, get comfortable. The flight's under an hour and a half, two hours. I'll probably, I'll maybe just take my dress shirt off and put on a t-shirt, but you know, if it's one of those long ones, you wanna get comfortable and uh, yeah, it's pretty much a mad dash trying to get your sweatpants on. Once the plane is in the air, the players have two choices, relax, or join a competitive card game. Me and Pierce, we sit together. For the most part, I'm usually messing around on my phone or a lot of the time sleeping, to be honest. I'm usually just reading a book or uh, watching TV shows. You obviously, you hear a lot going on in the card table. You can tell uh, when someone's winning big or, or really losing big. So, uh, you know, it's funny and you can hear, you know, Drew's laugh from a mile away, especially when you're in a steel tube 30,000 feet in the air. I mean, <laughs> It is hot right now. For the past three seasons, Jonathan Quick, Drew Doughty, Trevor Lewis, and Jake Musson have been playing cards together on every flight. I enjoy playing cards, interacting, as it makes the flights go by a lot quicker, as opposed to in the back, just watching a show or reading or just sitting there by yourself. So, who's the big loser so far this year? For sure. Oh, <laughs> well, that is for sure. A couple games we play, uh, seven up, seven down. Euchre, hearts, lots of uh, bantering back and forth and chirping. <laughs> that was a smart play. Yeah, it was. While the players unwind and socialize in the rear of the plane, at the front, the flight serves as valuable work time for the coaches. You know, for myself personally, uh, if it's post game, it's usually looking at either quicker and the Ross uh, clips from from the game that night. If it's in between, usually, uh, you know, I'm looking at tendencies of, of the team that we're playing against in order to get ready for them. The team touches down in Denver for a game against the Avalanche. Once at the hotel, players and coaches take the rest of the night off. You can't be going 24-7, you'll just wear yourself out. Uh, so we always try and do a nice dinner and sit around and have some laughs and relax a little bit before we get charged up and ready to go again. It's a good opportunity to get to know your teammates. It's basically uh, you and the other 22 guys and then the coaching staff. While some players get room service and stay in for the night, others will venture out for a nice meal. I go for dinner with Kopi and Pierce or Luch. Uh, will ask me to go for dinner. Luch, it's usually more fancy. He likes those fancy steaks and I try and make him buy it because he makes a lot more money than I do. <laughs> but the next morning, it's back to work. Once it's game day, it's kind of let's go game on type mode. After morning skate, the players in the lineup will rest. For those not playing, they will put an extra time on the ice and have a full workout during the first period of the game that night. When you're playing in the games, you're using up a lot of our energy, so you're trying to replicate that as best as possible by putting them through you know, a good post-morning skate warm-up. It's a, a time to get that strength back up and uh, just make sure that your cardio is where it needs to be in, in order to be ready to play. For the players that laced up the skates, the game against Colorado doesn't go to plan. In a 4-1 loss, the team witnesses Jerome Aginla score his 600th career goal. Aginla with the puck. Aginla slides it across. He scores! Number 600! After the game, it's all about getting home as quickly as possible. There's no use sitting around and dwelling on a, a loss because, you know, if you can gain 15, 20 minutes of sleep, it's going to be important for, uh, for down the road. At 1.30 a.m., the team arrives back in Los Angeles. While the Kings will get a day off, they're less than 72 hours away from another game.